Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine and this is my second LUT tutorial because um, there, were, there were so many questions about uh, how to create a LUT, uh, so many um, errors for so many, uh, such people uh, like um, oily um, looking skin like um, this. So, and I want to uh, explain a little bit more and go a little bit deeper step by step how to create a LUT, how you um, create a LUT in a Lightroom and which problems you have to avoid or can you avoid. You can make with a, a LUT so many different uh, interesting filter and uh, well make your filter that looks uh, like your preset you use for your Instagram account so um, it's a pretty great patch and uh, there are some little rules or some mistakes you can avoid so uh, let's start with the process okay before we start i just will shortly explain how the lut is working you can use the lut to change the look of your spark ar filter um, very quickly and the, the lut or the lookup table is a kind of a file that uh, where you import the color and tone you want. So it's like you um, you use this file with all the information and detail from a preset or a photo or picture that you love and convert this detail into your Spark AR. Um, camera textures so this is a pretty how i said before this is a pretty easy way to um, make that and it could be very very detailed and but you have to make sure that you avoid some mistakes so let's start with a lot and we start at first with the uh, patch editor and how we create the file and then I show you how which LUT you use and which not. So let's start with that. And you create with me. Sorry, I have to drink uh, something. Oh. Okay, let's create a rectangle. And this is our uh, LUT. And fill the width and height, of course, and create a material and go into the material LUT, oops, LUT and matte, call it like that, crazy good. And now we need the patch editor, it's pretty fast right now. We need the patch editor and now we add the assets and we start with the fast color LUT uh, patch you you find the link down below you need that uh, of course and this files and i will show you the first problem or the first um, mistake you maybe make when the lut looks weird or something like that we don't need that okay crazy good okay now you Make sure that you create a texture extraction from the camera, yes. And we put this to into the scene as well. And you make uh, from the texture of your LUT material, uh, stop right here, change the shader type to flat so that the camera camera ambient light and uh, has no influence uh, of your texture though so there's no shadows and now put the things together and now you see just my the regular style you find when you google uh, LUTs um, um, and LUT templates or a uh, LUT PNG you find uh, two different um, neutral LUTs and this is uh, the LUT you want you use in the for the fast color LUT but you also see this uh, not very often in Google image so 
we just this is a neutral LUT you want to use so there's no difference but when you use this information yeah uh, the fast color LUT had, uh, has a big problem with that so so be sh uh, sure that you use um, this LUT right here and you find it uh, in the description down below. So, but now we want to create uh, our first um, uh, LUT and uh, what I want to do, I make a reference uh, picture of me with, uh, I'm not very colorful, so I use uh, this book right here. Wait, super good. So this image, crazy. So we have a reference later, so we can test if the LUT is really working and looks the, maybe the same or is pretty close to the preset we uh, add to the LUT. Okay, and I create the LUT in Lightroom because you can also see, you can easily see uh, the edit settings and you can use the free version for uh, your smartphone and make your color LUT there. Okay, okay, you see here I put the reference image, oh, not then a nice smile and the neutral color lot into my scene and just before I forget make sure nope, make sure there is a manual compression checkbox on and this one filtering is no need for that so none or less or low it's also okay but not higher that looks pretty weird so okay for the first lab that I uh, want to explain I just use uh, the Lightroom presets and take this and make uh, create a preset out of this one call it huh? cool light that. And now this is uh, what you have to do. So you see this things here and you have to be sh make sure that the effects, uh, the details and the optics is off. And maybe just to be sure the exposure because uh, the LUT only reacts with, reacts with the colors and not with the, the effects uh, from the preset, preset like in this case structure, clarity and so on and so on and will, I will show it uh, later in a in quick uh, example. So make this one, go to the color LUT and now you see this texture and so on is not on in this case with the original color light cool light sorry with the original cool light you see the clarity was uh, on and yes just the clarity but um, make sure this is off you can also get, make it manually and go to expression and some of you think there is just an JPEG you can uh, convert into a JPEG full size and high quality of course and I call this I call this a uh, cool light LUT like the preset LUT export and go to material and now we test it go to that one and put make it clarity so we have the 
original later. You see the camera is not the best one, so it's a little bit, it's not the best quality. But just for an example. Mm. Go to the Cool Light Lodge. Cool Light Lodge. Also make sure the compression, no compression and also no. And yes, this is how it looks like and want to make sure it looks very similar to our original. And yes, uh, you can see there is really, it's like um, maybe a little bit different, but uh, it's pretty close to uh, what I want to make and create. So, and you can go pretty extreme. I just make another example and more uh, crazy example. Uh, make sure it's shadow. It's not pretty nice looking maybe and just the right tone and the blue tone is in there. More extreme, of course. So the green also, everything is down. Create a preset, red and blue. Make sure there are no details or um, uh, clarity in that, just the color and light, light balance, so on and so on. Save and add this one to our um, reference. And blue, red, arrow, I call it arrow oily or something like that just uh, to show you why it doesn't work or yes go back to um, my scene and you see the light is a little bit uh, different because uh, I have to recreate this uh, shot the clip was broken so a little bit different and you see um, that uh, the effects like uh, gain especially has uh, make this oily effect so be sure that you don't uh, use any of uh, these um, effects for your uh, LUT and of course you can um, play with that too and make some interesting uh, and funny filter out of this of course but that's not the idea of this lot so and this is also a question that uh, some of you may be interested uh, is, are interested in um, if it's possible to add um, sorry I'll just hmm, choose the cool light um, the idea that you can use retouch for your effect and that's not really possible it's not possible so you have to make sure that you um, make with light shadow and so on and so on in Lightroom a very smooth skin a very smooth look you can um, tweak uh, the um, slide a little bit so that uh, your uh, skin looks uh, pretty uh, nice but I show you how it uh, how the effect retouch looks in this um, in this effect or with the color lot and yes this is a retouch and this one is the Face Tracker Mesh 
I'm back. So face tracker match for the face tracker and the other one, sorry, is the retouch. I explained I make this tutorial before and you don't see the retouch right now because you need for the face tracker the um, go into the face tracker zero texture extraction and add this texture to your scene copy paste that and switch the texture here and combine a link it with your face tracker now you see the skin is smooth but um, there is a big problem with uh, the uh, the mask that spark ai use is a, there is a kind of bug or something like that when you have uh, any solution for this weird looking um, mask and face tracker mesh please let me know um, i would love to make a tutorial about that um, but yes in this moment it just looks like that so it doesn't work very well if you need to use uh, the uh, fast lot uh, face tracker material you link uh, these to make sure also shader type is flat okay thank you for watching i really appreciate this and i really uh, thank you for your support uh, with your subscription your like uh, with sharing my content to your community and your best friends and if you have any question please comment in this description or if uh, the question maybe need a, need a little bit more explaining please uh, send me in the DM via Instagram I really love to communicate with you guys and I hope we see us next time enjoy the process bye bye